Our Dora Scheidel joins us live now with more on how those who live there are dealing with this loss. Dora. Megan and Matt, as you can see, this is all that's left of this apartment building on Polk Street after a fire raged through it last night. There have now been four fires in this building on four consecutive days. And while last night's fire is under investigation, police and fire investigators say at least three of them were intentionally set. Now that the flames are out and the smoke has cleared, crews are boarding up doors and cleaning up what's left of these Syracuse apartments. About 24 hours ago, it was a raging inferno, tearing through this two-story building. Now, the people who live here are coming to terms with what they saw and what they lost. I've seen smoke and stuff come out. Two people ran down the street, and next thing I know, went up in flames, and it went real quick. This man didn't want to show his face on camera as he describes the worst night of his life. The flames are really coming out really fast, and it scared me really badly. So I ran the apartment quickly. I couldn't grab anything because my apartment is only one way in and one way out, and I didn't want to be trapped into that. They made it out and into the helping hands of the Red Cross, taking in 12 people displaced by the fire, giving them shelter, food, and clothing until they can get back on their feet. There, somebody had to be setting those things. It's not natural for them like, for three fires in a row. It just happened out of the blue. Back at the apartment, fire and police investigators work to pinpoint a cause as they try to figure out why there have been so many fires here in the last week. Whoever did this, very dangerous person because they were setting fire to a building that was occupied by many people. So again, we got really lucky that no one got killed last night. Uh, we'd really like to get the people responsible for this in custody. And despite initial reports, one person who lived here was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. This is a joint investigation between the police and fire departments, and they're asking anyone with information to please come forward as soon as possible. Reporting live from Polk Street, I'm Dora Scheidel. Matt and Megan, back to you.